Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, everybody? How you doing? Answering your questions today. Today's question is, was I ever in a video game? Um, if I was, which I was, how does that take place? How do you get in the game? How do you, how do you get paid for being in the game? All those kind of questions. So we'll talk about those right now. Uh, first, I've been in a, a couple of games. First game I was ever in was the first ever college baseball game on, I, I, got, I had it on Xbox. At that time, I'm sure it was on PlayStation 2. Um, PlayStation, not PlayStation 2. Maybe it was PlayStation 2 at that time. I can't, it was a long time ago. But when I was in college, my sophomore year, um, they came out with a new college baseball game. I think it only lasted a little bit. But I remember my, my, my roommate and I got it. We were like super excited. And our team sucked. <laughs> we, were, we were really bad. And I was like, it, I remember, I literally remember getting it and playing it. And I went right to like my attributes, right? Like you go right to see how good or bad you are. And I remember like, I think it was on like a 50 to 90 scale or 50 to 100 scale. And I remember my speed was like at like a 55. Um, all my stats were like so far off. I had a ton of power, but I couldn't make contact. I had no speed. I was like, did anybody ever like, if you're going to make me in a video game, at least I should have speed and plate discipline and contact. Nope. Don't give me any power. You can put my defense at zero. I don't care. But like, it was like totally, totally off. So I remember we played the first game. I got up on my guy. I couldn't get a hit. I was like, this game stinks. And I never played again. So that was my first experience in a video game. Then, um, I don't remember, again, everyone always asks me, which games were you in exactly? I don't remember the years. I made my Major League debut in 2008. So I was in the 2009 game. I'm almost 100% sure. Um, I was on the roster in 2010. Um, and then, so I know that in the, in nine, 10, and maybe 11 in that period, I was in games. And then, uh, I was also on for, the 40 man, a couple of the game, a couple of the years. So I know in certain games I was in the game as like the, as a minor league player in AAA that you could call up. Okay. Um, but I know I was never, ever good, obviously in any of those games, except for maybe one of them, I was half decent cause I was still considered like a prospect. Um, but then that didn't last very long. And then I wasn't very good in, in the game. So um, I think, the, again, I haven't played video games in a while. MLB The Show, I think I was in, and then like MLB 2K or something like that. Um, I think those were the two games that, that I was in. So if you get games from that time period, which is a long time ago now, which nobody probably has that game anymore, you can go and see if you can play with me. I suggest you don't, but if, you, if, you're, if you're interested in losing video games, you can put me in the starting lineup. So let's talk about what takes place to get ready for the video game. So um, in spring training every year, we talked about this before, you have like media day, picture day, you do all this stuff like the first or second day of spring training. You also have a, a segment of that day is for video games. So what you do is, at least what, what I did back at this time, they may do it, to I'm sure they do it totally different now, but again, we're talking about almost 10 years ago. You'd sit in a chair like this, and they had like this camera thing that was like set up, a little video camera that was set right up in front of you and you would have to sit really still and then it would just go around you, all the way around, it would get like a 3D capture of your body and of your face and that's how they would use our faces on the video games. Um, again, they may, it may be, I'm sure the technology is much different now, but when I was playing, that's what you'd do. You'd have to sit there for a part of it. So during the picture day, you know, you take your pictures and you do all these different things and you'd go into like a green screen room, you know, like on the Jumbotron or the big board, whatever they call it, the big screen, you know, you'd have to do a couple things like you'd you know, swing a bat or you'd flip a ball up and smile and catch the ball, you know, when they're announcing players, when you're hitting and all that stuff or pitching. So you'd do that. You'd have to do like some radio stuff, and then one of the one of the things you'd go to is the video game part of it, where you'd have to do like the headshot. And like I said, we did the camera that went all the way around us. You just have to sit really, really still. So that's how it worked to get ready for the video game, to basically get your face and, and body and all that stuff in the game. And then as far as getting paid for stuff, um, 
So I, I think when, when it comes to video games or like jersey sales or all of that stuff, that kind of gets lumped in together. And what happens is, again, I'm, I don't know it, the exact amount of money that you get and exactly how it happens. All I know is that in spring training, I got a check one year um, for, so basically it was the, let's see, 2011, no, 2012, I got a check. Um, and it was, I can't remember exactly how much it was. I think it was like 20 something thousand dollars or somewhere around there. And that was for um, the time that I was in the major leagues. All of those things, it was, you know, I believe it's for like the jersey sales. Even though I'm not, no one's buying my jersey. No one cares about me in the video game. I think just to be, just to have that stuff, for them to be able to use your name and, and all that stuff in, you know, bobblehead dolls and all that stuff, I think. Again, I never had a bobblehead doll or anything, but I still get paid for that. Um, even though I didn't, no one bought my stuff, right? So... You just get a check for them to be able to use, I, I believe it's just to use your name and stuff like that. And again, I think, again, I was only, I played in the major leagues. I only played in the major leagues, I think for like, I think I played in like 20 something games technically, but I was considered in the major leagues and on the major league roster for a little over a year. I think I was a year in, um, a year and a month, I believe. And so, you know, I got paid for that year and a month, even though I didn't, did Jack, you know what? Okay, so uh, you don't get one of those checks every year. I believe you get one every three to four years, I think it is. And again, I got paid one year's worth because I was only in the major leagues for one year. If I was in the major leagues, if they give you a check every three to four years and I was in the major leagues three to four years, my check would have been three to four times what I got, okay? So you get a decent amount of money for it. Um, and I didn't do anything. I remember getting a check and being like, what the hell did I do to earn this check right here? I didn't do anything. I was injured and stunk. But that's the perks of being, you know, on a major league roster, I guess. So that is how video games work. Um, hopefully that helps you guys out. Again, when I, I, I failed to say this, when I was in the major leagues or when I was on the major league video games, um, my players were not very good. And so I would never play with myself either. I'd go play with like, you know, well, Mike Trout wasn't really, uh, Mike Trout's a lot younger than I am, but Barry Bonds, well, Barry Bonds was kind of out of the game. Manny Ramirez, that's who I played with, Manny Ramirez. That was my boy back in the day. He actually doesn't know who I am at all, but that was my favorite player at the time. So, so that's all I got, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Give the thumbs up. Share the video with all your friends. Uh, check the description box below. I've got a bunch of stuff down there for you guys to check out. Uh, and that's all I got. Thank you so much, and we'll talk to you later.